Hello, welcome back to my channel. Today I am off to get some Botox um, in my forehead, frown lines, and crow's feet area. Um, so I thought I would just make a little video of it. Okay, I'm about to head out. I am. Um, I live in Ireland now. Um, I used to live in Michigan. So I'm driving into town, which I get a little nervous about, mainly because I have to find parking, but yeah, I should be okay. Um, this is my little outfit of the day. Okay, so I'm about to head in. Um, I don't think I will record anything while I'm in there. There's plenty of videos out there that show the procedure of getting Botox. It's so quick and simple. And I'd say almost painless. I mean, if you feel any little bit of pain, it's literally just for a second. Um, so yeah, so I will check back in once I am done. And then I will check in throughout the next week or so because it takes a week or two for the Botox to fully take effect. So yeah, I'll check back in with you guys in a few. Okay, and I am back. You can see I look pretty much the same as of now. Um, you can see maybe a little bit where the injections were. Um, but yeah, so it will take, like I said, one to two weeks to start kicking in. I actually usually notice within, like I can notice little um, changes within like a few days normally. So, but yeah, so all the lines are still there when I expression. So yeah, so I will check in later. This is just me checking in the next day. Um, I wanted to mention, because I forgot to earlier, that I got the brand of Botox called Azler. So, and this is my second time receiving that brand. Hello, um, I am checking in. I am, it's Thursday night and I got my Botox on Saturday um, at noon. So it's going on day six. So I wanted to check in. Um, this is my movement um, in my forehead. And then this is my movement in my frown lines. I'm just turning my head towards the light. And the this is the movement for um, my crow's feet area. Um, so yeah, so as you can see, it's pretty much taken full effect. Um, in the daytime, I was noticing that that my mean 11s could like maybe potentially use the tiniest bit more, but I don't know. It's kind of looking okay now. It's weird. Sometimes I will look in the mirror and think that I need a little bit more. And then sometimes I'm like, no, that's pretty good. But either way, I can go back in for a two-week checkup. Or I mean, at two week, at the two-week point, I can go back in and we can talk. And, you know, I can potentially receive more at no cost if I wasn't quite 100% satisfied with the, um, you know, results. So I guess that's potentially... A on my mind, I mean, that is on my mind is something that I might potentially do, but yeah, otherwise I am quite happy. Um, this is typical where by even just one week out, I can pretty much see my full results. So yeah. Um, so yeah, I'm going to check back in over the next couple of days and maybe give, uh, just a little bit of thought on my experience with this um, but this brand of Botox, Azler, um, opposed to having received the actual Botox brand at one point and then the Javo brand of Botox, um, and just give a little bit of my feedback on things. And yeah, so I will uh, check back in in a little bit. Okay, so I am checking back in. It is um, just about officially two weeks since I've had the Botox injections and yeah, tomorrow will be two weeks officially. Today's Friday and tomorrow's Saturday. Um, so I'm just checking in to show the results and say how I feel about everything. Um, I feel definitely just a little bit happier than I was the first time I went to this clinic, but I think that's a good thing because since I was a new patient to them, 
it's better to start off with a more conservative amount when the injector and, you know, clinicians don't know, you know, me and how my body will react and what it needs because plus you can always go back in for free at two weeks and ask for more. Um, and I didn't do that with my forehead lines. I just wanted to see how long they were going, how long the Botox was going to stay active um, and then just know better for next time. So anyway, so I mentioned that and we did a little more and it's perfect for me. Um, it's technically like the tiniest bit of movement, but that's it. Um, yeah, uh, my, I had mentioned in the last video I filmed that I thought there was still a little bit more movement between my brows than I would like, but that actually has changed and it, it's, um, there's even less movement now, which is why they say to wait the full two weeks. Um, and I do know that, but I think because of the other brands of Botox that I have tried before, um, they kicked in like the tiniest bit faster. So I thought I kind of knew, I thought like, this is it, this is, this is how it'll be. But anyways, that's why you wait the full two weeks. So yeah, so that's me trying to frown. Um, and then, sorry, I'm <laughs> not sorry, but I'm very tired looking because it's in the morning. Um, but anyways, and then when I smile, all of these lines are gone, which is great. Um, I feel like also the time that I went last, there could have been like just the tiniest bit more in the eye area. And I actually didn't mention that because it was okay. Um, but I feel like I, I'm just a little bit happier with my eye area this time. So yeah. Um, so that's about it. Um, I am looking forward to seeing how long it lasts. Um, if you do do a conservative amount, it's my understanding that it might also wear off a little bit quicker. Um, and I mean, you don't want to like be overloading your face and doing like too much for your body. But if you um, go more more so towards the frozen side of things, um, it's my understanding that it helps it last a little bit longer. Um, so yeah. Um, my forehead wears off the quickest. It wears off within two months. And I think that's pretty normal. I've mentioned it to my injector that I used to see in America too. And it's just because you, I mean, in general, people probably go to do this expression more. I mean, it just depends on your body and your face and stuff and the way you expression, but it just wears off quick because of that movement you're, you're, you know, attempting to make that expression in anyways. Um, the, this area did last closer to the three month mark last time. Um, my eyes lasted maybe a little over two months. It was like my forehead wears off first, then my eyes, and then my, um, you know, front lines, mean, mean 11s. So yeah, um, I will post this video and I won't be able to check back in to, um, let, you know, let everyone know how long it lasted because that will, that will take months, hopefully three months or more. Um, they do say it lasts three to four months. And some things that I had read online that was a benefit about Azalur was that it could potentially last a little bit longer. Um, I read that it was comparable to Dysport, which my previous injector also had mentioned that it might, Dysport is um, a good brand to try for people that have their Botox wear off a little bit on the quicker side. So anyways, um, maybe I will do another video in the future. Let me know in the comments if there's any questions. Um, yeah, I think that's about all I have to say. Um, living in Ireland, it's funny. It's, it's definitely the cost of living is higher um, in general, but actually it's nice because the anti-wrinkle treatment the botox is um considerably cheaper over here so it's kind of nice but yeah um i'm just checking back in um because i wanted to say just in case anyone was wondering how like how to compare azalur um to botox or javo or if i have a favorite or anything um i don't have a favorite i only tried botox once and it was my first time and we did a super conservative amount so it was the least happy I was ever was with my treatment, but we did like considerably less. So it's hard to say. I will say with the Botox, um, 
And I know it could also, the way that the injector injects could maybe have a little bit of a, make a little bit of a difference too, but I got a headache a little bit, very, very mild, um, just sometimes for the first couple of weeks. I don't know, but um, maybe it was, it was just because it was my first time as well. Um, but what I wanted to say is I think I'm happy sticking with um, Azler and not trying to find a clinic that offers the actual brand Botox. Um, as far as Juvo goes, I don't know if it's a product that they even carry over here in Ireland. But if you are thinking about trying Azler or the clinic that you are interested in going to uses that product and you're curious about it, I would definitely recommend giving it a go. Okay. So that's all for this video. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Like I said, ask any questions in the comments if you have anything else you're curious about. And I will see you in another video. Bye.